You're watching Hold Space, where we talk to game changers on and off the court. Today, we are joined by play-by-play -play broadcaster Megan McPeak, the voice of Capital City Go-Go -Go in the G League and the WNBA's Washington Mystics. She made history as the first woman to call play-by-play -play in the G League for the Raptors 905 back in 2015. Megan, thank you so much for joining us. Reading your bio out loud, how does it feel to still be a first or an only in holding space in the position that you are in? It's definitely different, but uh, given the fact that it has now been so long, which is kind of weird, uh, I'm getting used to it, to be honest with you. Um, but I'd like to see that change sooner rather than later. I would rather have more than just myself in this space. Uh, when you look at within the G League and the NBA umbrella, um, I'm not the only, thankfully, when it comes to the WNBA, there's a lot more of us. Uh, that's kind of, I guess, where society accepts women as play-by-play -play, uh, in the sports space is on the women's side. Uh, but I definitely would like to see that change. Uh, and that's partially and, and mainly why I'm, I do what I do and why I continue to speak out and advocate for more women to do the play-by-play -play role and not just stick to a sideline reporter or a host or an analyst. Get into the play-by-play -play role because there is so few of us. Uh, we need more in the sorority and the sisterhood. So that is why I continue to advocate for it. Um, it's definitely different being, you know, a one of a few or an only in different spaces, but I'm happy and glad that I'm part of the change and continue to push forward for more women in this space. Because you have a unique position where you are involved with both the WNBA, the NBA and G League. What cues do you see the NBA could take from the WNBA when it comes to gender and racial equality? I think the biggest thing is as simple as it sounds as and as basic as it is for humans is listening. Just simply listen to your counterparts. And it can go really bo both ways when you think of the NBA and the WNBA. Each side can listen to their counterparts. They can then take the information and push forward. And so the biggest thing I can say is just simply listening, which seems so fundamentally easy as humans, but sometimes I think as humans, we also forget to listen to other people. So I think that's the biggest thing and the biggest cue that most can take is the listening aspect. And then we can, you know, actually educate and, and have action and push forward. Thank you so much, Megan, for joining us here on Hold Space. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Savannah, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it.